Hey YouTube, my name is Numi and I have a confession to make. I have been a little bit too lazy, really. Uh, I put up a lot of videos um, with the mega ungrading, but all the time coins were coming in for the next, uh, the next grading and I hadn't made the videos yet. So um, this video footage was shot in London, but you know, people have been writing to me saying, where's the video of my coins being unboxed? And I've had to say, I haven't made the videos yet. So I'm hoping that uh, I might try and put out maybe even a couple of videos a day instead of one for a few days, just to, just, just to play catch up and show you um, a few of the lovely coins that have arrived for the next grading. And these coins have now gone, uh, I think mostly to Heritage in the UK for their, uh, their grading. So they're probably already uh, already at NGC or on the way to NGC. And the results of these ones will probably come in in about uh, a month's time or so. So uh, yeah, there's quite a few things, quite a few interesting things that I've missed out and uh, I've shortchanged you guys and I haven't been showing you really everything that's come in in the way I was, mainly because there were seven videos that uh, I had to make to get through the, uh, the mega unboxing and there's just such a lot of uh, video footage. I didn't really have time to do all these as well. So uh, these are coins that arrived actually in the office in London. And uh, I am at the moment sitting uh, on my sofa in a rather pleasant um, Florida. And it's about late 70s, early 80s, I think today, maybe 78, 79, palm trees, nice sunny winds. And uh, I've been having a very nice time here, just the kind of temperature that's conducive for making some videos um, about some of the uh, beautiful coins that have arrived. So on the right is the Black Bull of Clarence, the latest in the Queen's Beasts. Uh, I haven't been receiving very many silver coins to grade recently because the grading costs are so high in proportion to the costs of the coins. And uh, of course, for one ounce of silver, the Royal Mint are already asking an extraordinary amount of money um, already just to buy one of these proof limited edition coins. But uh, they do seem to be doing very well. Um, people like them. Uh, people certainly, I think, like the Queen's Beasts as a series a little bit more than they've been liking the Britannias, for example, recently. So three series the Royal Mint produced, the, the Sovereign series, the Britannia series, and the Queen's Beasts series at the moment. And then the fourth one is their Lunar series. Don't bother with the Royal Mint's Lunar series at all. It's a pile of rubbish as far as I can see. However, I think the Queen's Beast series has done pretty well. And uh, when coins have come up on the secondary market on eBay, um, they haven't done badly either. So I think there is, there is quite a lot of demand out there for all the different Queen's Beasts varieties, except perhaps for the large silver ones. The 10 ounce silver proofs, the 20 ounce silver proofs, the five ounce silver proofs, very expensive uh, to begin with. And I don't think they are going to be a good investment. So I would focus on the gold Queen's Beasts more than the silver, if it were me. So moving on. Oh, it's a beautiful 2017, um, beautiful modernist Britannia, gold Britannia 2017. One of the best Britannia designs, beloved of my friend Regal Stacker, an absolutely fabulous coin that should be in everyone's collection. And then we've got the 2018 Sovereign, a little bit less gold in a Sovereign than a Britannia. And uh, that one's got the privy mark on it, and those have been doing well as well. Both of those coins, premium coins, over £400 to buy each one of them. So uh, much more than the gold value. So be very careful before you spend money on these premium coins that it's something you really love and you want to put in your collection. And as you can see, a lot of people in the Silver Forum actually do uh, really like them. Uh, they particularly like these, the, these quarter ounce Queen's Beast proof coins, I think have been doing very well amongst members. How well they'll do in the future in the secondary market, 
uh, only time will tell. Um, there, there are a few sales on eBay that are closing in the next few days, and we'll see whether any of these coins in the secondary market, ungraded in their boxes, actually get any more than the, uh, the Royal Mint charged for them um, retail. So we'll see whether they're a depreciating asset or whether they are something that uh, actually you can potentially make money on going forward. And there's very few coins, I think, very few coins that are going to be money makers. I still think the 2017 um, Special Edition Sovereign is one to try and pick up as a potential money maker. Um, the Peter Rabbit coins, the Queen's Be uh, sorry, not Queen's Beast, Beatrix Potter Peter Rabbit coins have been doing pretty well recently as well. But there's not that many modern series that uh, are going to be actual coins to uh, to flip and profit on. As I've always thought, really, I remember doing a video saying 95% of modern coins are going to be losers. Um, finding out which of the 5% is a bit of an art, really, and it's a bit of a risk. If you don't want to lose money in coins, then you are far better generally to buy older coins, uh, coins nearer to spot price if they're gold, bullion, uh, but something with a, uh, a, a tradition, a, uh, a price history going back a number of years showing price growth rather than just ploughing money into whatever the mint happens to be producing right this moment. So, what's in this little package here? Interesting. Okay, this is kind of interesting because this is a coin that I graded um, for this particular guy and it was graded as a PF. And I told NGC this is not a proof. This is brilliant uncirculated. I remember telling them three times, maybe even four times, and they said, our graders can't tell the difference between this coin and a proof. I told them... That is totally ridiculous that your graders can't tell the difference. I just don't believe it. Uh, anyway, about sort of eight weeks after that, they actually wrote to everyone to say, well, we've changed our minds, and they are, in fact, brilliant uncirculated. MS, deep proof-like, DPL coins, not proof, and we are going to split them out. And if you do want to send them back, um, we will actually change the labels free of charge and change them from PF70 to MS70 DPL. So I've got two coins here, which are going to be sent back um, completely free. NGC won't charge for redoing the label. They'll come back with exactly the same labels, but they'll all say MS70 DPL. And in the census, they will be then separated out as well. So I uh, hope you like that. A uh, little bit of old video footage that uh, I'm making brand new for you while I'm in Florida. Please um, let me know what you think. Please like, please subscribe, and then you'll get some notifications every time there's a new Numistaka video.